do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students in this video we'll discuss about how to project a satellite and uh, its paths so let us discuss about the projection of a satellite hello students let us start with the concept of projection of a satellite projection of a satellite we know that uh, the definition of a satellite is that uh, any object which uh, moves in a around any other object with the influence of that object then that object is known as a satellite that means suppose that electron is revolving around nucleus so electron is revolving around nucleus with the influence of nucleus so therefore electron is a satellite of nucleus similarly moon is the satellite of earth because with the influence of earth the moon is revolving so satellite is basically the object which is revolving around any other object with the influence of that object now in this case of a projection of a satellite we have earth like this suppose that this is earth and this is a planet and i have to project the satellite the satellite is basically kept at the tip of the rocket which should be multi stage rocket and uh, minimum two stages the first stage of the rocket is first stage the function of the first stage of the rocket is to take the satellite to a certain height suppose this is the desired height where we want to we want the satellite to revolve around earth as soon as this height is reached the first stage of rocket is uh, disengaged and the second stage of the rocket is burnt and the satellite is turned 90 degree at this height the satellite is turned 90 degree and the position is something like that this is the rocket second stage of the rocket and which carries the satellite like this as you can see here this is the satellite and uh, after it is turned 90 degree it is fired with sudden velocity horizontal velocity so this is uh, the satellite is given a horizontal velocity v h so this is the velocity which is given at the desired height suppose h is the height of the satellite above the surface of the earth so after that is taken it is given a certain velocity now the thing is that if we want the satellite to revolve around earth the path may be circular the path may be elliptical but if the satellite has to revolve around the planet then this must have certain velocity that is known as critical velocity this horizontal velocity projection must be equal to certain critical value if the horizontal velocity of projection is less than that critical value the satellite will fail to revolve around earth so first condition is that if this is given the first thing is that if the velocity of the horizontal velocity is less than that critical velocity or orbital velocity then it will fall to earth it will fall back so it will have some path like this this is the path so this path is uh, sometimes called parabolic path but uh, i will say this is not parabolic path in most of the textbooks it is written parabolic path because we see this part of the this portion of the path which uh, looks like parabola so obviously when we throw an object and it follows a parabolic path when i throw an object horizontally it follows a parabolic path so in that sense in most of the books it is written it is parabolic path so i will not deny that but then 
parabola is a free curve it has no boundary if uh, it has a parabola then um, it should not uh, intersect basically the earth it should escape because in case of a parabola the path is free because uh, the satellite is bound to earth then uh, it should have a bounded curve basically what is happening is then i'll explain this way that uh, i have a uh, i have an ellipse I have an ellipse and uh, in, in in this case that uh, this part of the curve which is a part of the ellipse actually intersect the earth something like that this intersect like this so this curve intersect like this this seems to be a parabola but then the uh, earth uh, is at any one of the focus somewhere uh, here and uh, the then this path is not complete and intersects earth's surface so basically this path is elliptical in most of books good books you will see that it is elliptical but in textbook you will see this parabola but anyway if you observe from here to here it is parabolic so i don't mind writing parabola because that is there in the textbook it is parabola so <clears throat> if i say that uh, the path the, will be the path will be parabolic but I'd rather say that you write for uh, elliptical path now if the horizontal velocity is equal to the critical velocity required for the circular motion then uh, the path will be circular the path will be circular it will complete the circle. This is uh, S1 here, where the velocity is uh, less than the critical velocity. This is the second case, uh, where the velocity of projection is uh, equal to the critical velocity. Then it will have a circular motion. The path is uh, path is circular here the rotation is not possible here the rotation around earth is possible third point is that if uh, the horizontal velocity is greater than critical velocity but less than uh, that of the escape velocity then it will have a uh, have an elliptical path so here the intersection is there the earth will be at this position and it will just uh, be able to the satellite will just be able to follow this path without intersecting any portion of the or part of the earth so this is the case when the path is uh, elliptical path is elliptical the path is elliptical so i will draw the some portion i'll draw because uh, elliptical, elliptical path you can know that uh, something like this this will happen it will be something like that you can complete the path in exam also it, you don't have to require to draw the whole of this you can draw incomplete path but you write that this is uh, ellipse this is understood if you want i'll draw in another place and uh, if the velocity is uh, greater than the escape velocity then what will happen if the fourth one if the velocity that we are providing to the satellite is greater than that of escape velocity will escape it will not return to earth suppose this is earth i provide here the satellite the velocity horizontal greater than escape velocity it will escape so this is the path which is obviously hyperbola hyperbola so the path is hyperbolic so in short if i want to draw uh, in brief the whole of this that i discussed then this is art then i have a path like a height i have a path like this one i have a path like this which is circular 
second one i have a path like uh, elliptical path so i'll draw i'll just use another color for you this is uh, the elliptical path three okay then we have uh, we have a hyperbola this is hyperbola so <laughs> So this is the circle, this is a hyperbola, this is ellipse, and uh, this is your uh, parabolic, this one is parabola. So all the uh, curves behind so on. This is what you to uh, draw, sometimes the question is to only draw the diagram of the paths uh, of a satellite so you draw this diagram for two marks but well, this is how you explain the path so the path actually is determined by the horizontal velocity of projection depending on the how far it is um, above or below or equal to the critical velocity that determines the nature of the path okay thank you